Thank you. Brilliant. Yeah. Today. Well. Fantastic. Have you been busy? We've been fairly busy. We've oh, good. Oh, yes, I know. I came out yesterday on the hunt, but yeah, a lot of them were not doing it. <laughs> I don't, oh, thank you very much. Do you mind if I sort of pop them down so I can keep yeah. looking? Thank you. This is beautiful. Wow. Yeah, it's a, it's a Yumori. It's a, I used to sell furniture. Oh, okay. Uh, Bob Timberlake was the designer. Oh, cool. It's, it's been out weathering, but yes. I thought it was distressed. Yes, I, yes. I sold it. I sold it and I purchased it. Yes. It needs to be tightened up a little bit. Yes. I don't like it. It's really cool. Get scruffed off and some kind of clear coat of Yes. Keep it distressed. That's so fun. Yeah. I like that There's, a lot. Uh, these teak chairs are nice, too. Oh, yes, I've got yeah. I've 25 for the set. Oh, um, yeah, those are really nice. Wow. Oh, cool. I'll have a look around. Thank you so much. Yeah. Mind if I send a photo to my husband? Thank you. <laughs> oh no, it's fine. He'll see it. Thank you. I'm going to show him these ones as well.
those to my pile if that's okay. <laughs> Thank you. If you see something else, 
let me know and I'll like reduce it. Is that okay if I make a big pile? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. That's a nice plan. I used to sell furniture and get yeah. How much are your items in this box? How much are what? These items in this box. Uh, I think she wanted 20 for that. 20 for the whole thing? Yeah, it's a security system. Oh, okay. Is this separate? I think this is like a like a video recorder. I don't know. I think it went with it. They recorded. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Does she know if it works? It did. She said her, her dad had it at a place where he did business and they had it set up. All right. Now, I don't know whether it still works, but you just took it off that car. Gotcha. Right. How much are your scarves? A dollar. Dollar each. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I don't think so, but thank you. <laughs> I'll let you have a look. <laughs> Thank you.
$40.50. Awesome. Would you take 65 for the spider and the two chairs that are here, the two teak chairs? What did I say we were at? You here? said 40 and 50 cents. Would you take 65 for those all together? For the two chairs? The two chairs and then this spider who's hanging out here. <laughs> Well, thank you. I appreciate you working with me. <laughs> well, sure. Thank you. All right. There we go. Do you have change? I have 20s. Is that yes. okay? Uh, Perfect. Thank you so much. So what are, where are we at? 65. Is that okay? So yeah. just 15 back. Thank you so Thank much. You. All right, I'll take these down and come back for the okay. <laughs> chest. I appreciate it very much. Quite a few things actually. <laughs> I've only got a, haven't got that much more on me. Well, well, you know, I might make a deal. All right. Thank you. Well, time. All right. Back. Is this an older lamp? Um, Do you know? I, think, I worked at the furniture store. Oh, these okay. are like two hundred dollar lamps. Oh my goodness! Um, I really this like. This one them. works fine. It's got a little toe thingy on yeah. it. Yeah. This one, that's an older lamp. Okay. These are, uh, and th these are both. Um, Pretty new. Yes. But this yeah. one just needed a repair on it. Yeah, they're cool. And a shade. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Right, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, you guys. So let me show you exactly what I picked up. So the very first thing I found when I got there were some shoes. All of his shoes were marked at one dollar a piece, which is awesome anyway. But the shoes I got, I was really happy with. So I think I got four pair in total of Danskos. And with Danskos, I have to mention this, and lots of people know it already. But you've got to do the sort of twist and bend like you would take it in each hand and try and kind of like try and twist it if you like just to make sure you haven't got any dry rot going on and um, but Dansko is such a great brand and these are really cool styles they're not like the normal clogs so we've got these Mary Jane ones and we've got these which are again Mary Jane but like just a little bit smaller heel um We've got these ones, which again have the Mary Jane kind of look to them, um, but they have the cross strap over the foot there. And then these ones, again, they're very similar, right? <laughs> um, but just ever so slightly in terms of the straps and stuff. And like I said, all Dansko, and they're all, I think, the same kind of size, which she said was like a 10 to 11. They definitely look a little bit bigger. Dansko is often marked, there we go, 41. So marked in um, European sizing, but I got four pairs of those. And like I said, a dollar a piece. So I'm going to pay for everything just from um, selling these shoes, basically, which is really exciting. Um, and I think I paid, gosh, what did I pay in the end? I think about $80 total for everything. Um, and I have something else over there that I'll show you in a second. All right. This was just interesting to me really so it's a little mirror and it's obviously kind of like celestial style but i picked it up because it was vintage it definitely feels to me like that kind of 90s style but i think it's a little bit older than that made in korea i just really really liked it i thought it was very cool a very neat piece so someone somewhere will most likely enjoy that too these are definitely a different pickup for me it's not something i would usually grab at all they have some tarot cards and they, this is not the original box i don't think and then they come with a little instruction manual the reason I grabbed them and um, there's only 22 in here and I think they're usually this particular deck came as like a set of 78 22 I think is all of the different designs um is this one is is actually signed or autographed um by the lady who created it, I suppose. So 307 out of 1000, and they were marked 1980. Um, so that's the reason I grabbed them. Now, a full deck of 78 cards, this particular one by this lady, um, from 19, let me think, 1982 is going for 40 to 50 online. And um, this one is a little bit 
older. I think it's it's marked 1980 and then 1981 inside of here. Um, and like I said, it's signed. So I have absolutely no idea what to do in terms of pricing those. Um, but it's just, that's a new one for me. So I figured I'd check them out. All right. I grabbed this. Um, now, she did do a bit of a bundle deal with me, so some of the prices aren't exactly what I paid. But it's just a Vera Bradley backpack. Um, and it's in good shape. I mean, it looks to be really, really good shape. There's a little bit of, like, dirt here and there. But overall, really, really nicely kept. Um, and then I grabbed it because it came with a little lunch pack as well. So it'll make a nice little set to sell together. Ooh, I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully nothing important all right moving on uh, i got two scarves there they were a dollar a piece um and i picked these ones out first of all beautiful plaid really really nice um and i picked them out because of their label so this one said the scotch house 100 percent pure new wool lambs wool made in scotland so that's obviously a nice scarf and then this one it's kind of like that really nice southwestern feel to it like i really really liked it i thought it was a cool style um and it is made in italy 70 percent wool uh so yeah i just kind of this one was more based on the style but also where it was made in the fabric content and that one was really all of those elements together and the fabric content is obviously a little bit better on that one but i thought they were cool for a buck a piece all right this is a complete mystery to me but i'm taking a chance she wanted 20 dollars for the whole box and i'll show you what's in here so there is a samsung digital video recorder i did look up the model number here and it looked like untested these were going for around 40 or so and then tested it looks like they could go sort of 80 90 there's lots and lots of wires and cables in here that go with it so i'm sure i have something i can bundle in with it it just needs a bit of a clean as you can see it's kind of like sealed in plastic up front so i don't know what that means um, but yeah i decided that you know if i could sell it untested for around sort of 40 then at least i wasn't I'm going to lose money necessarily um so i grabbed that and then it came with like you can see all of these bits and pieces in here cables and stuff. again i looked up the uh model number on these as well and they seem to be doing well so uh, sort of <laughs> educated stab in the dark i suppose you could say have to figure out exactly what i have and if i am capable of testing it at home but if so then hopefully that, that will do quite well so i will report back stay tuned to find out what on earth happens with this all right and then over here we have a uh, vintage monopoly she kind of threw this in for me so i figured for sort of free why on earth not um it's in good shape and it's you know everything's in its bags and things like that so it looked like it'd been looked after and i saw one when i comped it that was on auction and it had a bid already for 20 plus shipping so i decided it's probably worth grabbing you know especially for free she threw this in for free as well which is very nice of her it's a vintage perfume like a hawaiian perfume um yeah i don't know anything about it it's only for half it's uh, just under i should say half full and i'm just gonna list it and see what happens with that one the comps i just couldn't really narrow it down but i decided to give it a go um this i grabbed for my mother-in-law and then she didn't need it so <laughs> again this was like a freebie item she kind of threw in she was very nice at the end i sort of paid for items and she let me grab a few more um I looked at the model number i can still get like 9.99 for this so i might as well list it just a little bluetooth headset there by motorola um this oh this is for me just a little decor piece nothing fancy at all um and then i also got this mixer so i kind of want to keep it because i really want to mix it but it looks like if i part it out i could probably get some decent money unfortunately one of the little um caps from the bottom of one of these is gone which is a bit of a pain but things like things like those even just the one of those and then the little silver bowl and this bowl and then maybe even the mixer itself will sell but parted out i find that things tend to do a little bit better so we'll see how that goes um but she tested it right in front of me it's totally working um and it's really cool and i think it's from the 90s so i decided to give that one a try as well all right now this is a little hard to show you uh just based on you know the size of them and they're not set up but i'm sure you saw them in the video itself these are teak wooden chairs they're like folding chairs they've got slats and i'm still trying to figure out what on earth i bought if i'm honest so there is a little there's one here that's kind of worn and there's one over here that's a little bit easier to see um the little metal plate there we go I can kind of zoom in just a little bit so they're winchester teak chairs now i looked these up i don't know anything about this particular like label or dating it it does look older to me and they seem like an older piece um but winchester furniture nowadays looks like it goes for a lot like 
$600 for chairs like these. And um, I've seen some with le like labels or logos, whatever everyone call little plates that are so similar to this, but just slightly different with like square edges and stuff. Logo over here, all the same and all that. Um, just a little bit different on the shaping that sold for like $300 for the pair. So these were $25 for the pair. I'm hoping this is gonna be a local flip. Um, I'll have to decide on that close to the time. But yeah, I figured there was some money in them, so why not try? All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please do think about hitting the thumbs up button. And if you like thrifty content, especially yard sailing with me and thrift with me and all that kind of stuff, then please do think about hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can know every time a video goes up. We are doing daily videos at this point, so don't forget to come back and hang out some more. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye, you guys.